You know, having made my point about the lights on quads and that they should be similar to autos, uh, especially with the lights on the rear, I think they should be red. You know, uh, since orientation is really difficult with multi-rotors, many of us visualize it as a car in the sky, you know. You know, cars have red lights in the back and white in the front, and sometimes they're blue, you know, as you know. Well, I really only purchased this machine just to uh, see if the red lights were on the back or not. It's really hard to tell where the lights are in the ad on the XLE ad. You know, I think there should be a standard. I've said this before. Many quad manufacturers actually pay attention to that and the lighting, but many forget that some of us actually fly outside in the dark. You know, if you have multiple quads and each has lights on different sides, it makes for less pleasant flying and trying to figure out which is which. You know, it's like taking the clutch and the brake pedal and switching them. Oh yeah, you could do it, but you know, in a panic situation, mindset usually sets in and, uh, you know, panic and you go the wrong way. Well, orientation really is such a problem with these quads, they had to invent the headless mode, which is really uh, something that plays havoc with a real helicopter pilot, because we really got to watch. Anyway, all that said, I must say that I probably purchased and reviewed a lot of nitroplanes and X-Heli stuff for a long time. And many of you have actually purchased from them, uh, too. Uh, maybe you did not know this, but uh, they gave me a while back a coupon code for all my subscribers to use. It's Nightflyer5, for two wives. And, uh, and you'll get an extra 5% discount to what they've already got, pretty good deal. So, um, anyway, that's uh, pretty good. You know, when Nitro Planes and x -Heli first hit the scene, they were really the only market for, a major market for models online. You know, of course, many other websites have followed, but uh, I still like the guys over at x -Heli. I remember the great time we had when I was a guest of honor at their first fun fly. You can see that video online. That was just a blast. Anyway, this uh, V626 quad is totally beautiful to see in the sky. I mean, the lights are perfect. Uh, you can get the lights from XLE. They can be put on any quad, but with the shape of this body and style, it's really good ship for it. You know, it's stable, came with batteries, and 4G card, and a camera. Pretty nice machine for 115 bucks. So uh, let's take a, a further look at it, okay? Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Okay, and I'm going to set it to 60%. And this turns on and off the lights. I should have realized that I should have put these decals on first since I had the lights off. Because otherwise you can't use them anyway unless you do take the lights off. Yeah, and putting them on is just as easy. You just lay the strip down until you get to the center. Just like that. And on this side, there's uh, we just need to cut a slot to put that ribbon in. We'll take that up. Okay, pretty easy. Now we can put this in there. Here we go. Ah, oh, that's smooth. Kind of windy though over there.
Wow. <laughs> that, that was wild. Try that again. Wow, that's a big loop. That is totally. Well, honestly, folks, this quadcopter is just one of the most comfortable of my machines that I fly. You know, I usually have to pay strict attention flying anything that's not GPS controlled, you know. It also takes pretty decent pictures from the camera, even in low light, as you saw. But besides the camera, the size of this machine, the easy way it flies, and the fabulous lights, it's made a pretty big hit with me, and I can't seem to stop flying it. I really like it. I'm sure you would too. Anyway, that's it for me. Till next time, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. Happy flying.